Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here with the big green 1024 and a half running lumber today is going to be the goal. It is caught in the rain today. Not much we can do there. Well, we could switch it. But just checking out the light rain what we're taking a look at today seeing how that affects things or what it does how that all goes moving on down the rail have gone through just about all the weather settings at this point we'll be on to other projects coming up not exactly sure whether they're going to start a new layout or what the plan is there. Have to see coming up. What we do, this layout is now done and pretty much just filling in rolling stock. Whoa. I'm sure there's no link or pin in there. Not sure. By the time I saw it, the thing was flipped over. We were going like crazy though, so probably had something to do with it. Come on. Good enough. <clears throat> Still gotta go back and get one. Saw one sitting back there. Oh, nope, go figure that. Too fast. Ten twenty four and a half still goes fast enough to pull stuff off the track, apparently. Haven't had that happen lately. Ripped the whole thing out there full speed going to pick up stuff, so kinda surprised that that actually happened. Have seen some weird things the last couple of days. Trains just bouncing around. The Mason bogey is definitely got some issues like it seems like every time you get in that thing it jumps off the rails as soon as you get in it. Currently, so that's been weird. I've had a lot of people talking about trains just jumping off the tracks the last couple of days, so not exactly sure if they're working on some things there or what's going on with the beta currently. these reattached and delivered with less drama Put 
puts us back underway. See if we can avoid ripping it off the rails for a second time. Flip on the generator. A little bit of light in the rain. See how that works. Get a good look at the loco. Trees aren't in the way anyway. Get that running down the rail. Oh, we are running out of steam. Not that that's going to solve the steam problem, that's for sure. Not in a hurry, but that's what a derailment will do for you, I guess. Still making simple mistakes. Of course, I don't know if that was my mistake or the game, but either way, it was going way too fast, so I'll take credit for that one. Can't blame the game there. So at this point, it always comes to that point in the month where people are waiting for the next update. We've had bug fixes, we've had everything else. Kind of, I know a lot of people are still waiting to see when the beta is going to push out to the main. People on the beta are already looking for the next update. So we're just going to have to see how things go with development here coming up. Haven't heard much back from Astragon about how the beta is going or about how the Unreal 5 engine is going in the Switch. Just kind of taking it as we go. setting in. Now it's just a wait for wildlife in the game. Who knows how long that'll be. If we'll still see that kind of thing coming into the game or when. A lot of talk now about the game going to the workshop. A lot of people are excited hopefully that the game will hit the workshop sometime soon. So a lot of a lot of people looking forward to that for sure. Could add a lot of new and interesting things to the game for sure. So close. Let's go. <laughs> so much quieter. This is good to see that the pressure actually affects the whistle, so that's cool. What more could possibly go wrong in this look? Already derailed, already ran out of coal. I had to put a fireman back on the box one of these days. Apparently. Whistle just sounds wet now. Huh. Too much rain.
Here we go. Back to making a little bit of progress. Pace. 60 on the boiler pressure seems to be the place where the local actually starts running, running. Everything before that is kind of lackluster. At least seems to be the case. Hopefully we can now finish this run without having any more problems. 80 old problem solver might just stick to some dynamite in this one if we do. Kaboom! A lot of interesting theory out there about what will be next. I gotta be honest, I'm leaning more towards we'll see this. Uh, the Unreal 5 engine hit the main, that'll probably take a while for them to get sorted out. Hopefully we get some sort of update to go along with that, get some new toys, see some new locos. It's been a while now since we've actually seen any new locomotives. Where we were on a pretty steady pace of getting new locos pushed out. Be interesting to see what our next ones are at this point. Yeah, most of them. This goes like with the winter update when it was so hard to see your mouse. Some of these weather conditions can definitely make it a little more challenging to see your mouse. Whole new challenge in the Burroughs online aspect, that's for sure. needed lumber looks like we still need more sucking down all the beams we did delivered but uh, I guess we aren't necessarily gonna call that one a smooth win but we got the load there got it delivered and unloaded so I guess we will call that uh, still call that one a win say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel y'all have a great day <laughs>